if Sam Darnold was a Hall of Famer after week one, <laughs> surely Patrick Mahomes after week two G O D is a H O F er. They got a statue already outside of Arrowhead because they're about to go do their first home game. Right. And and Patty Mahomes has a statue coming out it's week been one home. You know, the, his first home game. They're going to unveil the statue. What is for it? Paper mache? How they how they do that so quick? They are good. It's called technology. Technology. Mm-hmm. It's probably three D lasers. Three D three D printer. Three exactly. D printer. Three D printer. <laughs> what do we have for him, Johnny? That's the winner. <laughs> yeah, nailed it. Well, three pre three D print a, a new heart. That's pretty crazy. I, I could be wrong on this. Let's not get too too far away from the point here. Yeah. I thought <laughs> Patrick Mahomes gets our uh, undivided not, attention. It's not true. I thought the rating system went up to one. I thought it was one fifty three point eight, and he was one fifty four point eight last week. Did he break it? Did they had to add a number? <laughs> it's one fifty eight, isn't it? No, it's, it's I, he got a one fifty four point eight rating for the game QBR, but uh, QB rating, the old school rating. But I thought that it was one fifty three point eight was the max, and we yeah. just gave him another. They were like, you know what? Tick, give him another tick. Give one fifty four. He did that, that six touchdowns. I could have sworn it was one fifty three point eight. Is it if one fifty four? I'm pretty sure it was one fifty three. You can Google it. It's worth a Google. He broke the system. <laughs> well, twenty three out of twenty eight for six I, touchdowns. I think old Jason was probably the only one who was maybe marginally in on Patrick Mahomes. I, I just was, was a lot of uncertainty and a lot of hype around him. So. I, I admittedly have missed out on all the Patrick Mahomes, as I miss out on most quarterbacks. Sure. Just because anyway. I was excited about him doesn't mean I didn't miss out on him, too, because he's way too expensive in any type of format. Well, that this Patrick Mahomes is the talk. Of, James, James Conner was the t- talk of the town last week in Dynasty, and now going in two weeks. I yeah, mean, well, obviously, it, didn't, it didn't hurt that Mahomes already had rumbles. Maybe he wasn't quite the talk, but he was well, already kind I of. I mean, the, he, you, you know, know, four touchdowns and Tyreek Hill and everything they did last week. Patrick Mahomes was here, but then he got the statue out front of Kansas City Arrowhead. St- so that's you know, a real thing. You didn't no, make that I'm, up. No, I'm making that <laughs> okay. up as we speak. <laughs> we really have him going. We got though. him. I got him. I got him. <laughs> they really made it a 3D no. paper mache. So Print with the six touchdowns, like he's not only here, he's already been here. He's done that. He's yeah. You know, like you said, he's a, he's a, he's got. They're making his gold jacket. They're 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 checking his, checking his, his arm seams, length. Arm they're fitting, length, he's getting shoulders. fitted this week. And what the biggest thing is, I wanted to make sure we talked about this first, is because I know that everybody else is talking about Patrick Mahomes and. It's not. I think that you'll see us go this season and try to talk about people that everybody else isn't, so you can have something else to listen to when in the season everybody's yeah, that, kind of. That's not going to work this episode, right? But. No, no. Well, you know, but in the <laughs> yeah. season everybody kind of talks about the same stuff, and I yeah. get that. So we're going to try our best to talk about different ways to help you with your dynasty team in season, and but we have to talk about Patrick today. Mahomes because <laughs> we were. I don't. Th- I don't think it was that bad. Casey just said that even Jason was the only one that was marginally in. It wasn't that we weren't marginally in. It was just like we had we. To me, everybody was talking in the off season about how great Patrick Mahomes looked in that Week Seventeen game yeah. last year, and I watched it twice, and I'm like, I mean, he was okay, right? But I mean, he wasn't. He wasn't like. Career, well, he wasn't like MVP it Brett wasn't, Favre like everybody was. It, it, it was an okay outing, and I get it. It was his first start, but it was week 17 against a team that didn't care. And I'm like, how are everybody jumping to conclusions on that one start? Sure. It, he didn't he didn't throw it four picks. I'll give you that. But so I was like, all right, we and we said this months ago with the with all of the we. With all of the weapons that the Chiefs were bringing to the table and Andy Reid, there was no way he wasn't going to be getting fantasy production, even if he was bad for the team, as in like picks and turning the ball over. But his life is so easy. There's out there. no chance that I would have that we could have. I I wouldn't have predicted half of this through two right. weeks. Well, I mean, nobody even if you I'm loved him, saying, nobody like, was predicted I, half, half of this. I, oh, you see, know, I told you. But I told you ten saying, touchdowns may, in two weeks. Ten touchdowns in two weeks. I'm just saying, like, and not it's not even like. Highly efficient touchdown, like twenty three out of twenty eight, three hundred twenty six yards. Like well, I was saying, just, he just broke the quarterback rating and gave him an extra point. There's nothing you can really do about it. Andy Reid's a, a, a he's reaching his scheming vet, prime. a veteran coach. <laughs> his and, mental prime as a coach knows how to knows his X's and O's and knows how to scheme things around. And now he's got weapons everywhere. Throw Sammy in there. Weapons everywhere. One of the best tight them ends boys, in the league. Them boys are basically doing what. You and I would do in a draft and punt on quarterbacks or tight ends, and they just punted on a defense in their draft, and they were just like, "We're just going to try to score fifty in every game." <laughs> right, 
which has created this perfect storm for Patrick Mahomes because their defense has given up points. Granted, they paid the, played the Steelers last week, and that's what they do. It's very similar. They're just not quite as good at it as, it, as it seems Kansas City is. But, I mean, Patrick Mahomes, they're just – no matter what defense the Steelers were throwing at him, whether it was a zone or man, they were beating him. You can't guard Tyreek Hill by himself. You can't guard Sammy Watkins. He's coming into his own. He looked phenomenal out there before and after the catch. It's just whatever – the the worst play they had was like five yard gains. <laughs> right, right. The like they, they didn't even need third down in this game. You yeah. could have just given them like three total downs. You punt on third down if you get to it. Like <laughs> for real, they were just it was just so easy for them, and it just looked so smooth and simple. It just looked like they were playing. They were playing with them, playing checkers well, or they were playing chess well. Right, were playing yeah. Checkers. Right. So basically, what what I was saying was that Jay Wayne being the only one that was marginally in is if you go back to last year, Jay Wayne did kind of like Patrick Mahomes some, and like you and I are almost never gonna pay for a quarterback, and Jay Wayne will pay for a oh, quarterback. Yeah. So Jay like, Wayne's quarterback, that, guy. and that's why he was more. And I just again to piggyback off what you were saying, like there's the one game, and everyone was already saying how good he was going to be and I, I just wasn't 100 percent sure what was going to be so there's no way i was paying the price yeah um and i already don't pay the price so yeah. there's no way i'm paying the price for that right i don't have exactly. patrick mahomes anywhere because i couldn't pay the price either but i was always like sad to see him go to someone else's team and like dang it why'd you have to reach for a quarterback right there i, I could have got him later maybe so yeah the- well and and jim i have to talk about the price for a second i just got done with a uh you know, five hundred dollars startup a couple, you know, a month ago now, and I look back at the draft board and he went in the eleventh round. So it's like obviously I mean, he could have gone in the second round and it would have been worth it at this point. But yeah. it's just like all right, eleventh round that wasn't terrible. Um, no, that wasn't bad. That, but I mean, when in all, in the auctions that we did, he usually went for a reasonable amount of money. Yeah, um, and I've seen him go higher than than. No, me too. But it, it but that was that was one of those things. It's like everybody in that draft outside of the Aaron Rodgers pick, you could tell that quarterback, late round quarterback had been hammered. It was a late startup. It just barely finished before week one kind of thing, you know? Mm-hmm. And so late round quarterback had been hammered through the system enough to where everybody had punted their way out. And of course, you know, I do my thing and right. take Andy but Dalton that Mahomes in the last guy, round. If he put together any semblance of a first half of that draft, he's it's hard just to beat right now. Kicking wieners. Exactly. <laughs> Well, the, the, the touchdowns were spread around in this game, but you can see the targets. I mean, it's Kelsey Watkins and Tyreek Hill. And, you know, cry your heart out for Kareem Hunt. Thank God he took that catch and got in the end zone with it. But, you know. Still had 70-something yards rushing. No, no, I'm just saying as far as Five. like, as far as like, you know, the six touchdowns were obviously that number pops off the screen, but like 320 yards isn't incredible these days anymore. It's just that he only did it. He did it on 23 completions and only 23 28 attempts which is just nasty so for fantasy football like you just you know it's just such a it's so good for the players that are with him obviously but when you get it's like that pittsburgh offense when you get you know the antonio browns and um the Le'Veon bells obviously in the last couple years he's not there right now but those types of guys are just getting all the targets and all the run you got Kelsey and who's a mismatch, like you know, just going through the uh, the the weapons there. Kelsey and Watkins and Tyreek Hill all out there at the same time, plus Kareem Hunt, and and you know you got this guy throwing lasers, highly accurate lasers, mind you. Then what the defense can't do anything about it, and it it just add, it's just adding up for major major fantasy points for you. So this is just one of those things that are you riding this wave for the rest of the season, right? Just hope you continue to catch this lightning in a bottle. Well, yeah. I'm- on a side note, I mean, to talk about all those targets and to see Kareem Hunt or really any running back not get targeted is is a little bit of a bummer for you. You were hoping they were big talks about getting the running back more targets in this offense, especially Kareem Hunt's name was brought up a lot. Sure. Being used in the more. So By Andy Reid. Well, so, he had, yeah, right. exactly. We had 50 catches last year and Andy Reid saying, I'm going to get him more involved. So, right. I mean, it hasn't been that way to start. It has one catch through two games. But, I mean, then you look at the bottom of this thing and, and Robinson's got – you know, one target for three yards and a touchdown. Connolly's got two targets, two catches, a touchdown. Like exactly. You know, so it's the what's the amazing about what Patrick Mahomes is doing. And yes, a credit to Andy Reid. They let him sit for a year behind a guy who was uh, a pros pro, a pros pro, um, knew how to run this system, and let him let his guy develop. Then you know, showed Alex Smith the door essentially, 
Um, and but what's I think you already pointed to it is the efficiency of what Mahomes has been doing has been um, outstanding. I think in the first game he completed 15, 15 balls. This game he completed 23 of 28 attempts. You got Roethlisberger on the other side. Now, obviously, he was down 21 nothing uh, in a hurry. But, I mean, he's got 60 attempts. Exactly. And they lost. Yeah. I mean, obviously, he was trailing the whole game, and he's doing everything he can to get back. So he, it's tough to have a running game at that point. So but. let's get let's get let's if you're okay with this, let's move into the do you do you sell at an all time high Patrick Mahomes question because actually a couple years ago, um, Ben Roethlisberger had a two game streak where he was five touchdowns in a row, and you know, and then you know, different quarterbacks at different times. There's been little bubbles. I, Ryan Fitzpatrick's in a bubble right now. Yeah, like there's this bubble is not sustained. There's no ch- obviously. I don't I mean, if you if you've been on Twitter or anything like that. Like you've probably seen it and you probably cracked up and laughed and like Patrick Mahomes is on pace for 80 touchdowns and zero interceptions. I mean, you know, like <laughs> that's I love that, those odd pace. Those, stats. but but it's awesome and it's hilarious and it's funny. But like you you know do you in a di- we're, you know in a dynasty league do you Enjoy these massive of amounts all, of points from and, Patrick Mahomes, or do you take the basically any other quarterback that you can plug in there for twenty something points a week? Do you keep? I mean, obviously he's not going to score forty every week, but I've, if at a minimum, it look. I mean, this offense is just it's hard to you know and to, until until like the injuries start taking away some of these pieces, how can you defend them? So why can't you why can't you assume that Patrick Mahomes is going to be better than every other quarterback every single week? Well, in redraft, I mean, you hold Mahomes and you try to get that you try to get the championship, um, and maybe you do the same in dynasty. I mean, there's. I think you're going to be hard pressed to see games where the Chiefs don't score, you know, 30 points, and that'll probably like I would imagine we'll give up there. They'll be points. well, yeah, they're, and they're going to have to score because I don't think they really have much of a defense. It's, it's whether you know that this, can't be undersold. If the offensive line either. can hold up and and be and be decent, and they can stay lucky and and be healthy. I mean, there's no reason that I don't think Patrick Mahomes and this offense, like I said, will score 30 points a game. Personally, I mean, I would send some stuff out for. Patrick Mahomes to see if somebody else wants him more than I do because I don't really care one way or the other obviously he could take you to a dynasty championship just like this year just like if you know in the middle of the season you had Deshaun Watson last year and he was doing similar things right um me personally I might I might try to get rid of him like right now Deshaun Watson's Deshaun Watson's in a little bit of a lull he's definitely not as, as the talk of the town like everybody was rushing out and spending probably the most on any quarterback in auction drafts well you know. let, let me let, let's just so you say get rid just, of him but you mean like you you would move him for a king's ransom yeah oh for sure you, i mean you, i'm not gonna you say get rid of him like you know toss him out with the backyard trash like obviously you mean you would I mean, you I would move him for a ridiculous sum yeah i mean that's that's what we're talking about here yeah jay wayne that's where i was going with the deshaun watson thing like you you could have sold him for whatever you wanted in this offseason because yep. he had that stretch of games and it was awesome and that's your last memory and he's but he's hasn't been fantastic he's still been very startable and yeah and, and you know probably better than people are giving him credit for fantasy wise anyway. right the, the fantasy stat lines for deshaun aren't as bad as what it looks like on the but field but you could have sold him for whatever you wanted he was carrying your team in spots last year mahomes obviously in these first couple of weeks i'm sure every patrick mahomes team probably won yeah. yeah, you know, I think people that have Patrick Mahomes. So me, yes, a king's ransom is obviously like I'm not just going to give away. Well, I just you know, I, I'm not I'm not ripping you. I'm just saying you're kind of like, oh well. We wanted to hear the words "king's ransom." Yes, yeah. need to hear those need words. To hear that. Yeah, uh, I mean, I think that's implied. It was implied. <laughs> it's implied. I'm not going to trade. I think the people that spent a bunch of money to get Patrick Mahomes on their team and now they're they're reaping these benefits immediately. I think they're going to hear you say maybe they should trade him and balk at that and be like, "What are you talking about? Why would I ever trade Patrick Mahomes?" I mean, I don't I don't care. I'll keep well, him. Before we get too far away from it, Deshaun Watson had just had, he has the 19th most quarterback points, but it's only four away from being top 12. Sure. Yeah, six more, right. one more touchdown and or something like that. One that more off- touchdown and a scramble, and he's top twelve. But the offensive line is pretty bad. Pro Football Focus has him ranked as the second worst offensive line in the league through two the weeks. The Texans offensive Texas line, Texas offensive is. line. But if, you know, but going that direction, he's four points better than Sam Darnold. So you know, if I can give, if I can say, well, one more touchdown, he's top twelve. One less touchdown, and Sam Darnold's better. So just like Casey's saying. 
Deshaun Watson was the best thing to ever happen to fantasy football for six weeks last year. And obviously the injury took him out of there. And it, but that's what I kind of meant by sometimes you just get on those sometimes magical seasons happen. So yeah. you never know. You don't know how long we, I mean, we know for a fact that you're not going to get that Patrick Mahomes is not going to throw for 80 touchdowns. Yeah. And I don't think but the streak's going to end it, going with, with the, those types of weapons and the, and the ridiculousness that is Patrick Mahomes right now. Because again, I was the one saying he's a one start rookie and there's no chance that he's not going to have rust and he's not he's going to ha- he's not going to step in there and be as good as Alex Smith was after running that system for 5 years and he's stepped in there and been twice as good as Alex Smith. So uh, there's no chance he's not he's going to continue this pace but it looks like there's it'd be hard to make a good argument that he's not going to be a top 2 or 3 quarterback for the rest of the year. I mean you would like to think but I mean like you said things happen he could all all of a sudden Six eight games into the season, he could be looking like he's a little green all of a sudden, and for, this for could whatever happen. reason, people start kind of figuring out what's going on a little bit. Right now, it hasn't been very hard on him; like it's been right. pretty easy to do what he's doing. And I, obviously, you would su- expect that to continue on some level. But as things go forward, if you know people start to, it's just like when you see a pitcher for the first time, sure, and he's lighting everybody up. Well, by the second, third time through the rotation, yeah, they figured you out. I'm not saying that that's the case, but I'm what I'm saying is that you could get a ton right for this guy right now. And if there is any other replace any position that is the most replaceable, yes. it's quarterback in fantasy. But you know, there's certainly an advantage to having the guy who's the top one or two quarterbacks in the league. Like when Cam Newton's crushing, Cam exactly. Newton will help you win a fantasy championship. Exactly. Well, for fear of... Uh, but we've seen that go all over the place. Like Cam's awesome, and then he's killing you. Yeah. Next year, you know. Right. So for fear of um, bringing the cell talk early because the schedule gets hard narrative up, looking at Patrick Mahomes' upcoming schedule. So he's got the Niners in week right. three. Right, and I was going to say, like, I don't see the streak really ending against the 49ers. I think they have a decent defense, but, I mean, he's at home. First game, was it? Statues th- going up. <laughs> Is this his first game at Arrowhead, yeah. or was it yeah. first game at Arrowhead? No, it's, 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 it's his first road. game home. On the road. So I don't see it ending against the Niners. I mean. But then in week four, he's at the Broncos. In week five, they're at home again versus the Jags. So there's, those are two brutal matchups for him. Then they're, they're at Foxborough play the Patriots, home versus the Bengals, home versus the Broncos, at the Browns, Cardinals, Rams, Ravens, Seahawks, at the Seahawks. So it's it gets tougher, and there's a tough little stretch. Those I mean, next that, two after the, at the, that week four and five, that's going to be. Broncos and Jaguars. Those are, your, those are your makers right there. Like it, and the cra- Well, what the crazy thing is is, like, again, he doesn't have to be super awesome. Like, Tyreek Hill is awesome, and he can get the ball to him from anywhere on the field. Anywhere. So from farther away that, from Tyreek like, Hill than anybody else He doesn't even have to have league. this great game to, to be still your – giving you 20 points in your fantasy lineup because he hit Tyree Kill from one side of the field to the other side of the <laughs> yeah, field. Yeah, exactly. Or Sammy Watkins. Yeah. Or Kelsey. Like, there's just so much going That's on that exactly. there's, and they're all good. And, and that may be why it's unstoppable because in a, on a normal team, like right now, Gronk is well, well, outside of Jalen Ramsey. Gronk's unstoppable. If you take away, if you play anybody other than Jalen Ramsey, Ty, Tom Brady makes Gronk unstoppable. Gronk makes Tom Brady unstoppable. All that fun stuff. But then you add in, and you know they're bringing in Josh Gordon to bring in something else because they don't have anything else. Like you bring it Tyreek Hill on any team by himself, he's unstoppable. And you got so you got the mismatch nightmare tight end. You got the mismatch nightmare. We've never seen anything like Tyreek Hill. And now you got and Sammy Watkins was a top five pick he's still a guy who possesses four three speed like he's a fast guy who we saw what he could do last week yeah. after the catch with the ball in his hands getting down the sideline kareem hunt's a factor in his own right and i mean C- Connolly is super fast like this is just a really fast offense like Connolly coming in off the bench is a spark guy like he's sure. really fast sure. they have super spark guy they have um, and robinson they like robinson right. a ton and they have the speedy guy from uh, the, the, Oregon, um, yeah, DeAnthony the Thomas. Thomas. Uh, like, yeah, there's exactly. just a ton of speed. This is the what, what are you, a mamba or something like that? Yeah. He's a mamba guy. They, the boys named him like some type of poisonous snake. <laughs> um, but yes, those next two games, Jay Wayne, that four and five against, after this at, week at, at 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 the Broncos and then home against the Jags. Two of the, I mean, obviously the Jags is the 
probably the best defense in the NFL. You got the Vikings and the Rams that say, "Hey, who, who, what, what the heck's going on over here?" When you talk like that, but you know, and then you got the Broncos who are pretty dang decent themselves against, especially a pass rush um, and some good corners. So the next two out of three weeks, that'll be fun. I mean, that'll be fun to see this juggernaut go up against. That'll be like the old uh, unstoppable force versus the immovable object type thing. Water versus fire. It'll be. <laughs> It'll be a good time. So, strength versus strength. Yeah, that'll definitely show us what he's made of. It's going to be tough. They haven't faced a, a they haven't faced a ton of pressure. They played the Chargers in Week One with no Bosa. Ingram was getting after him, but I mean, it's totally different when Bosa's in there. So, I, I, I'd be holding Patrick if you, if you want to go get a King's ransom for him. You know, hit us up. And the, the Chargers page. are down a couple of That's, uh, cover corners. And, I like where you were going there, Jay Wayne. I if you're not a if, if you're a patreon member shoot us an email with some type of trade offer that you got going on don't send patrick mahomes in a trade unless it is a ridiculous amount if that person hits accept right. as as the guy me and casey been cheerleaders for years i go back to john kitna and then i i'm i've been late round qb before it got popular <laughs> i'm the guy I, I throw cold water at quarterbacks but I'm not selling Patrick Holmes unless it is a truly King's Ransom. So if you're not a Patreon member anyway, go ahead and give us that five dollar holler. If you're in a Patri- if you're into Pat Mahomes sweepstakes, one way or another, buying or selling, get in there and shoot some emails to us. And as the guy that says, I'll sell if you'll give me anything for a quarterback, I'll go find another one. I'm gonna have a hard time letting go of Patrick Mahomes. Mm-hmm. So hit us up on the five dollar holler. Get go to Patreon, find us out over there and uh and and let's do try to help you do some business. Yeah, you can find find us at our website, theffdynasty.com, dot com, or go to patreon dot com slash theffdynasty, and you know you can have all kind of personal interaction with us that you'd like. We're gonna go ahead and take a quick break here. We beat Patrick Mahomes to death. We'll come back, talk a little bit of uh, Steelers, Steelers, the other, the side, other of side of that ball. All right, we'll be back. More married to the game. 